we have Bitcoin right here, Bitcoin right here, and Bitcoin just broke the current support. Uh, this support right here, guys. Uh, let me make sure that you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, Bitcoin just uh, just broke this support right here, right, right here. This twenty five thousand dollar support, twenty five thousand four hundred dollars. I want you to take a look at how many times that was acting as a support. You know, this was the initial drop, and then we bounced all the way up to twenty eight thousand dollars. We came again right here uh, before we got to twenty eight thousand. We dropped again right here, got some support again right here, got some support. Finally, we've actually, you know, we actually lost the support. And based on, you know, what I'm looking at when I look at the chart of, you know, Bitcoin, and this is something we actually talked about, you know, many, many times over the last, you know, couple of days, couple of weeks, is that we're coming, oh, we are going to come all the way down here you know, to retest this higher $24,000 range. So to be very specific, I'm looking at $24,800. You know, that is going to be my next price target. Uh, if we don't hold $24,800, the price of Bitcoin is definitely coming all the way down into this $23,000 range. Uh, and uh, if I go to the weekly, it's a lot more clear. You know, in terms of where the twenty <clears throat> twenty three thousand dollar range is, uh, you are looking at this target right here, guys. Uh, basically twenty two thousand uh, eight hundred dollars. So right here, that is going to be the next price target. If we go back to the daily, uh, let's go back to the daily. You know, this is a target that you're looking at. Uh, twenty two thousand, basically the higher twenty two thousand dollar range. Uh, of course, you know, you can look at this entire, you can look at this entire range, you know, instead of just picking some, some specific targets, right, you can look at this entire range right here. You know, this is where the price of Bitcoin you know, is more likely to be, you know, over the next couple of days. So, you know, Bitcoin, you know, doesn't look good. Uh, we talked about you know, the moving average acting as a, uh, as a resistance. Uh, this is exactly what's happening right now. It's been happening over the last, you know, couple of weeks, couple of days. And this is why, you know, I've been warning you guys that we are going to see a potential continuation of this downtrend. And also keep in mind, we talked about Bitcoin monthly performance. You know, we talked about historically November uh, excuse me, sept uh, no not November, September is historically, you know, extremely bearish. You know, you look at the performance of Bitcoin in September since 2013, you know, Bitcoin has only been positive in September two times. And that was in 2015 and 2016. The other years, right? Every other year, Bitcoin was negative in September with the average return of minus eight per cent so based on you know this data right here it is more likely we are going to see a negative you know september so when you look at the price of bitcoin uh when you look at the charts and you look at the performance of bitcoin it is actually playing out exactly right it is playing out exactly and uh you know you want to look at those targets for potential targets uh, but this is a great opportunity as a long-term holder, you know, to really get in because I don't think, you know, we are going to see another 12 months of a bear market. You know, I think the opportunity is now until, you know, the very last day of December. That is the opportunity to make sure that you pick up your positions, you know, to make sure that you are. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know that is your opportunity, you know, to pick up your positions and make sure that you are well positioned for this bull market. All right, enough with Bitcoin. Let's take a look at other projects and talk about what's happening. Uh, I want to take a look at Polkadot. You know, Polkadot 
is right now around three dollars. What is polka dot? Polka dot right here. Uh polka dot just dropped all the way down to three dollars and ninety six cents. Three dollars ninety six cents. You should not be surprised. You know, we talked about this uh this support right here, and we were very clear that once we lose the current support, the price of polka dot was going all the way down to three dollars and eighty five cents. Uh, let me show you exactly where that is. Three dollars eighty five cents or you know sixty something cents right here. Uh, you are basically retesting you know this target right here, guys. So this is a target for me. We've already take out the support. So what you see right now is a continuation of this move, and I think we are going to come all the way down here to three dollars and sixty something cents. If we don't hold, you know, if we don't hold three sixty, uh, the price of polka dot is coming all the way down to two dollars because that is the only other support that we have. And of course, if we lose two dollars, I mean, the price can, you know, basically trade anywhere below two dollars. It could potentially be around a dollar fifty, a dollar, and uh, you know, who knows? Could potentially get a, you know, get the opportunity to accumulate polka dot below a dollar uh, something that i have never talked about that i actually think is very interesting if you think about the performance of all coins you know during a bear market most all coins like almost every project you know tends to drop minimum 95 percent from their all-time highs so let me show you what a 95 percent drop would do to the price of polka dot if we go from $55, cent, uh, $55 you know, it's all-time high, and we drop 95%, you know, that puts the price of polka dot right down here at around $2.70. I'm not saying that we're going down to $2.70, but I want you to keep in mind what a 95% drop from the all-time high would do to the price of polka dot. And if we lose that $3.60, you know, your next potential price target, it is going to be in that $2 range. So this is something that I have actually, you know, never talked about. And I thought about it this morning, and I think it is very interesting because if you look at the performance of, you know, some top old coins that have been around uh, for, you know, many, many years, if you look at, you know, the performance of Polkadot, in that 2018 bear market, you know, uh, excuse me, not Polka, the Cardano in that 2018 bear market, you know, Cardano dropped 98%. I want to make sure that you understand that Cardano dropped 98% from its all time high in the 2018 cryptocurrency bear market. So if Polka, that, you know, if a project like Polka, that was to drop you know, 98%. Let me just show you where that will put the price of polka dot. So a 95% drop, you know, brings us to 270 something. A 98% drop will bring the price of polka dot at around a dollar. Again, I am not predicting that we are going to see a dollar polka dot, but I am showing you that in the past bear market, some of the top old coins had a 98% drop. If you look at the performance of Ethereum in the last bear market, not this bear market, the 2017 bear market, you know, let me show you the performance of Ethereum from, you know, $1,400 all the way down to $80. Ethereum was down 94%. Again, 94% from its old time high. So if Ethereum can drop 94%, you know, what makes you think that a project like Polkadot wouldn't drop 94% from its all-time high? And if we get a 94% drop, you know, that puts the price of Polkadot somewhere in the low $3 range. And I think that's exactly what we're going to see over the next, you know, couple of weeks. Now, very scary when it comes to, you know, some of these other altcoins.